Sagittarius, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is your mid-July to mid-August 2020 tarot reading. So I've already pre-shuffled the decks, but I'll shuffle them again for you on camera. And I'm using the Radiant Rider Waits Tarot deck and the Secret Language of Colour Cards with this reading. And Cross Watchers are welcome to join this reading also. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading, so take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. Also, if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel on YouTube, Karina Star Tarot. Remember, it's free to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a private reading from me, then the link so that is in the description below this video. Also, if you are considering donating to my channel, you will also find the link in the description below this video. And all donations will be greatly appreciated. Also, regarding the subscriptions, uh, at the end of this video, you will find a direct link to subscribe to my channel just click on the link and you're there So let's begin. First card you have is the Five of Swords. So I think some of you in mid-July to mid-August, I, I feel that you are going to be walking away from certain people because I, I feel that perhaps you haven't been getting along with certain groups of people lately. It might be that you've just outgrown each other. You know, there's a distance, people's, you know, life changes for people. It might be, you know, that, that the distance has just grown because of life in general for some of you. But I do feel that for some of you, it could be a case that, there were disagreements, which I feel, I feel a lot of them have been very much to do with personality clashes. I think that some of you have been arguing with people that, that have been winding you up that haven't been really genuine, that you see as being really false people, I think. And I think that you have decided that you want to distance yourself from these type of people, this, this type of attitude, because I think you've got a real kind of positive vibe about you, despite all of your difficulties with with some of your friendship groups. I feel that there's a real a real vibe for you, and I don't don't feel that you that are the type of person that finds it hard to make friends. I feel that you make friends quite easily with people and you're very accepting you're not the type I feel that judges people when you see them automatically you get to know people and then you make your judgments but I think that you might contemplate joining some groups perhaps and swords is air energy so Aquarius Gemini and Libra 
So with the Six of Pentacles, I think that you want to find friends that can that you can be in harmony with. You know, you wanna you wanna make those con connections. I I think I feel that. For you, it's very important to make those connections, not just, you know, on a, on a real mental level, I'd say. For those of you looking for love, the same would apply. You, It's, it's not just all about the physical side of things for you or, or being attracted to someone. Of course, that's part of it, but what makes it, really interesting for you I, I feel is when you connect with someone on a mental le level you want to be stimulated you you want things in common I feel that you you just in in the at a time in your life where you just want a nice harmony a nice balance and and I feel that you are for those of you who are who have fallen out with friends, you know, you have been looking a lot into this, seeing whether these people are worth keeping around. And for some of you, I, I do see you cutting some of these people out of your life that you feel are bringing you down in a way. And Pentacles is Earth energy, so Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. Then next we have the Chariot. It's the major arcana card. So yeah, I, I do see you, some a lot of you, taking the initiative here. Showing, or taking control, should I say, of the situation. You know, you're very determined to change the direction in your life, I think. Maybe to start again, maybe make a new circle of friends have have new adventures new experiences meet new people i feel that you you have that kind of needing you to to be free to want to go and explore to have adventures and i, I do feel that travel will be on the cards for some of you you know you just you're a person that really likes to enjoy life to the full and really experience life. And I, I definitely see you broadening your friendship circle and broadening your experiences and exploring your options on ways, you know, on, on, on different experiences that you can try your hand at, so to speak. And then the next we have is the Five of Pentacles. So I do feel that some of you do feel really let down, I think, by certain groups of people around you, certain people. For some of you, it could be involving a romantic relationship with someone that you perhaps feel I feel that a distance has developed between you a wide sort of gap there's there's a kind of a lack of communication and communication is really important to you but I, I do feel with some of you that you felt you've been feeling for a long time like you're losing this person losing the connection that you had that things are a sort of fading away the love is fading away that connection is fading away and I think for some of you who who have fallen out with friends I, I feel that you you do feel really upset by their behaviour. You do feel like you've been left out in the cold. You do feel really betrayed by the way they've treated you. 
you know, you see is really cold and callous. But all is not lost for you. You're, like I said, you're a type of person that's really makes connections easily, that, that you're very... But people are drawn to you, I'd say that very much. Then next we have the Three of Pentacles. So I, I think with the Three of Pentacles, this does indicate that you, I think you will make friends very easily. For some of you, you might actually work out your differences with these group maybe with a group of people that you've fallen out with there might be there might be a chance for you to i don't know um to well for them i would say because to maybe to make amends to make peace with these people and for some of you, I, I see that you will make new friends and I feel that you might be a little bit cautious at first because obviously you need to build up the trust with these friends. But I think for those of you in the career, on the career front, I can see that there's possibly a collaboration on the cards or kind of partnership. Or for some of you, even working as a, as a member of a team, and I can see that you're all working towards a, a goal, you know, of really trying to pull off something, trying to perhaps go after a job, a job or something like that. It's I can see that you're all really bouncing ideas off of each other, really vibing off each other. It's it's a real kind of it's a, it's a real kind of good time where you can really thrive. Then the next card you have is the Ten of Wands. For some of you after initially struggling I feel that you are going to want to alleviate your burdens, to drop your burdens. Some of you, like I said, may decide that it's best to walk away from, from these difficulties, from these problems, from these struggles. Perhaps it's feeling like it's all too much, you know, too... It's too, it's too intense, it's too stressful. So I can see that you, perhaps by August, will be trying to find ways to release your stress, to distance yourself from certain groups of people, most definitely, and seek new adventures, I'd say. One's is air and um, fire NG, so air is the Sagittarius. Then the next card you have is the Hermit. It's a major arcana card. Some of you may want to have some time alone. I think that you perhaps want to reflect. You know, it, this is your way of perhaps pulling back to distance yourself from these people. Maybe even to a certain extent, hide away from these people, isolate yourself, you know, find a way to not have to be around these people. It might be hard for some of you because it might be that they live close by. You know, for some of you, this could also be members of your family, so it might not be that easy to, to completely isolate yourself for some of you. But I do see some of you needing to do this you know to reconnect with yourself to reflect you know to analyze what's been happening to go over things and to think about the direction that you want to go in your life feel that you will be looking deep within connecting with your intuition this will be a time 
for self-discovery and growth for you. Because I feel that you really want to make more meaningful connections for some of you in your life. You, you want that true connection, not just with yourself, with other people. The next card you have is the Two of Swords. Some of you may be feeling pretty confused, a bit stuck in your situation. Maybe, maybe not knowing really what to do. Perhaps, perhaps some of the connections that you want to distance yourself from are, are perhaps hard to move away from. Perhaps there are feelings there. Maybe for some of you, this could be even a relationship. You know, for some of you, it's maybe it might be people you've known for a long time. So. So walking away from these people is not going to be very hard. I'm sorry, it is going to be hard for you. And you're maybe indecisive or maybe you're thinking on the one hand that you've known, you know, because you've known them so long that you should give them a chance. But on the other hand, you, you're thinking it might be best to just move on. And maybe for some of you, it's still up in the air about what to do. But I do see that you will eventually come to reach a conclusion about all of this. Some of you, I feel, have. Or will, actually, I think, some of you by by August. But some for those of you who are still, you know, agonising over this decision, I, I feel that eventually you are going to reach a decision and your final card you have is silver and it says be persistent so yes i i think you've got to be persistent you've got to have that strength to not give up maybe it it could be a case that you've got to Find a way of easing your tension. This colour can help ease tension. It can help bring about that serenity that you need in your life and expand your awareness. And it can help strengthen and heal you and purify you and release all those toxic thoughts from your body can help bring about clarity for you and it's a great car color for helping to ground you and and it protects you it will strengthen your intention and your resolve so i do feel this is a very appropriate color for you because i do feel it's gonna help you to get that clarity it's, it's going to protect you. It's going to guide you. It's going to, it's going to make you more aware. So definitely make sure that you have this colour around you. Perhaps wear something silver, an item of jewellery perhaps. So that was your reading Sagittarius and I really wish you all the best. And if you enjoy this reading, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I wish you all the best and I will see you all soon. Bye. Thank you.